Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to Honest Shade Nowak. And, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now, not as stressed as I was yesterday, so hopefully I can get back on into some other topics that I will also be talking about pretty soon. Because, let's not forget, a new crossover is going to be on the way very soon, and I'm not very excited about all of this, but... Hopefully this doesn't necessarily mean that it should, well, reflect a more negative side of how my content goes. But anyways, I might as well get on with number 694. Ooh, wow, that was a little loud. Pinpoints is the subject. So, briefly, I'll go on ahead and explain for sure that pinpoints are just little spots on the map that you happen to mark on. And if you're very familiar with the classic Google Maps sort of thing, where you might be familiar with its color palette of green, yellow, blue, white, gray, black, and the like, those are mostly to help distinguish different parts of the environments that are all labeled on a nice sort of, well, drawn-out map of the entire world. Or depending on which place you're trying to go to. A pinpoint in terms of Google Maps can certainly be distinguished by that famous classic little red mark that acts sort of like a push pin in a way. I mean the push pin graphic was certainly a pretty nice touch to sort of replicate the old school style of using a giant map on a bulletin board and then using, well, well push pins and the like or thumbtacks with colors that stand out to represent different parts of the world that you're trying to highlight. Of course, it was an old school tradition, but now we have ourselves the same process that we used to do, all digitized for our needs. And in terms of how it works today, this exact sort of tool, which of course gives us the same sort of effect of placing pinpoints on a certain map, no matter where we tap our finger on the screen, it shows us exactly where we're pointing to exactly where the thumbtack graphic goes. The pinpoint graphic, of course, is a pretty nice touch, but in terms of how it works otherwise, then well, in terms of how you navigate, or in terms of how you typically use geography to your advantage, having a pinpoint on you would be necessary if you needed to find a certain place to go to on the map, or if you needed to have a certain location whether to bury your pirate's booty or whatnot, or maybe just your typical sort of time capsule that you might have from way back in the day. And these exact things out there, that's just a small sampling of what you could potentially make up for any possible thing that you might have out there. Whether if it's a quest based on, well, crusades, or otherwise, then you can rely on pinpoints to help guide your way to the exact spot where the X happens to mark. And <laughs> I tell you, this is probably a good moment where I must have used my time wisely, so that's just what this is pretty much about. But that's pretty much it now, so that's pinpoints in a nutshell, and I might need to bring back my Sharpie because I haven't really been doing a lot of, well, crossing out on this, but if you want to see more, go down on my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.